Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an animated split screen effect in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. And don't worry if you're new to Fusion, I'll walk you through it step by step. And if you haven't subscribed as yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel and you won't miss future tutorials. And I have also included a free downloadable template of this effect. The link is in the video description so you can grab it and use it right away. I am here in DaVinci Resolve on the edit page. I've already imported three video clips into the media pool. These are what we are going to use to build our split screen effect. To get started, go to the effects library. Under effects, drag a fusion composition onto the timeline. Set the duration to about 10 seconds. Right click on the fusion composition and choose open in the fusion page. On the fusion page, you'll see an empty node graph with just a media out node. The first thing we need to do is to add a background node. In the toolbar, click on the background node and drag it onto the node editor. Now connect the background node to the media out. Now let's bring in our three video clips. Drag your three video clips from the media pool onto the node editor. Now we have got media in one, media in two and media in three. These represent our video clips. For each media in, we need to add a transform node. Select media in one and click on the transform node in the toolbar. This will add a transform node to the media in. Now do the same to the other two media in nodes. So now we have got a transform node for all three media in. Now it's time to create the panels. Let's start with the left third of the screen. Let's add a merge node. Grab a merge node from the toolbar and over it over the line. When the line turns yellow and blue, release the node and it will connect to the node tree. Now connect the transform one node into the green foreground input of the merge node. Now let's add a rectangle mask. Go to the toolbar and drag a rectangle mask onto the node editor. Connect it to the blue input on the merge node. With the rectangle mask selected, in the inspector, set the width to 0.33 and the height to 1 and the center exposition to 0.167. This locks it into the left third of the frame. Now let's create our middle panel. Add a merge node to the node tree. Connect the transform node into the foreground input of the merge node. Next, add a rectangle mask and connect it to the blue input of the merge node. Now select the rectangle mask and in the inspector, change the width to 0.33 and the height to 1. That's it for your middle third. Now let's do the same thing again for the right panel. Add a merge node and connect it to the node tree. Connect the transform node to the foreground input of the merge node. Add a rectangle mask. And connect the rectangle mask to the blue input of the merge node. Select the rectangle mask and in the inspector, set the width to 0.33 and the height to 1. Now set the center exposition to 0.833. Now you should see all three panels side by side. If your clip don't fit nicely, select each transform node and tweak the size and the center position to reframe the subject. Now let's add a border between each clip. Select rectangle 1 and in the inspector change the border width to minus 0.009. Do the same for the other two rectangle mask. Now select the background node and in the inspector change the color to something that you like. Now let's animate the panels. We'll animate the transform node center property so each panel slides in. Let's start with the left panel. Make sure that the blade is at the start. 
select transform node and in the inspector set the center exposition to minus 0.5 that will move it off screen to the left then click on the keyframe icon and move the play head to frame 18 then set the center exposition to 0.167 now let's do the middle panel select the transform node move the play head to frame 6 In the inspector set the center Y position to minus 0.5 that will move the clip off screen to the bottom. Now click on the keyframe icon then move the play head to frame 24 then set the center Y position to 0.5. Now let's do the right panel. Select the transform node, move the play head to frame 12 Set the center exposition to 1.5. That will move the clip off screen to the right. Now click on the keyframe icon and move the play head to frame 30. Now set the center exposition to 0 This staggers the motion for a nice cascading effect. Now let's go back to the edit page and press play to preview and see what we have done so far. To make it feel more professional, go to the spline editor, select transform one, transform two, and transform three. Select all the keyframe points Right click and choose smooth. Now each panel slides in smoothly instead of looking robotic. And that's it your split screen effect in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. If you have found this helpful don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions drop them in the comments below and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.